I'm on my way to Dover, Delaware to see the world's largest orgy. Horseshoe crabs are coming out of the ocean in the hundreds of thousands to reproduce, just like they've done for millions and millions of years. To be successful as a species, you have to reproduce and survive. And they're pretty good at that kind of basic formula. Horseshoe crabs have been called living fossils, survivors from the ancient world. They, that's where they feed, that's their mouth. Oh yeah, that's right a gnarly there. looking mouth. Yeah. Are those uh, stiff bristles or are they soft? Uh, they're, they're not too bad, you know, you can feel they them. Won't, they won't get uh, you. They look, it looks horrifying. It does look absolutely really horrifying. <laughs> When they first started coming up on the beach to lay their eggs over 400 million years ago, almost nothing lived on land. There were a lot of creatures in the water that would have wanted to eat their eggs. They've evolved to come on shore, which is pretty rare for a marine species, to avoid what at that time, when they were evolving these kind of behaviors, the main source of predation was marine. So this started as a strategy to avoid predators. They have done the same thing that I'm seeing here tonight for such unimaginably long stretches of time that before life really even took hold on Earth, entire mountain ranges rose up to the sky and then eroded back to the ground without a living thing having ever set foot on them. And that entire time, if someone could have been standing on the beach under a full moon like I am tonight, they would have seen this exact same. All together, these guys have 10 photoreceptors on them. They have these, which you can kind of tell are eyeballs. And then they have these two little dots on the front that are photoreceptors. And then they even have photoreceptors on their tail, which is called their telson. So they're just covered in light receptors. Some see the light spectrum that we see, and then some see an ultraviolet light spectrum that we can't see. I brought an ultraviolet light to see in the same light spectrum that the horseshoe crabs see. Seeing in the ultraviolet light spectrum is an ancient form of vision that evolved before color vision. When the ozone was still forming, UV light was much more abundant. Scientists think that because it has a higher intensity than other forms of light, the earliest photoreceptors and eyes would have evolved to use this spectrum to sense the world around them. It's fascinating to me that I'm holding a creature that's so different that we don't even see in the same spectrum of light. They are cued by these higher tides. So they come up with the high tides, and particularly the highest high tides, and those occur around the new and full moon. Horseshoe crabs have seen the world change around them many times. What started as a strategy to keep their eggs safe from predators in the water is now an annual stopover for migrating birds to fatten up for their long journeys. Females bury down in and they disturb nests that are already there, eggs that are already deposited. Those eggs work their way up to the surface and then are a food source for, uh, for fish and for migratory shorebirds. This spawning ritual has outlasted the dinosaurs. It's seen mountain ranges come and go, and it's here tonight under the full moon for anyone who wants to see them up close and millions of years away.